we do know in our conversations that we've had with our audience uh, when it comes to retail media networks is that one of the biggest challenges is cross integration with legacy pr- platforms. Um, and for the IT team specifically, it's also measuring these compliance issues. So how much of do you think how much of this do you think is really holding back progress for retail media networks? Is this just growing pains or, or do you think that um, you know these are significant barriers to advancement? So I, I do think it's a can be a super significant barrier to entry. I think if you see retail media networks that are doing very well and have been able to launch quickly versus some retail media networks that are struggling, it's usually um, can be tied back to the availability of engineering talent and availability of engineering resources. So in our case, I'll just brag about our engineering team for a little bit. They are they are amazing. They are super forward thinking. Um, I hope they're listening. Oh, I do too. <laughs> I I I really actually do because I don't think we tell them how great they are often enough. But because of that partnership and because of how thoughtful they've been with the underlying data infrastructure, we've been able to move really fast. But I know I've talked to some other you know friends and colleagues in the retail media network space, and if you don't have that strength within engineering, if you don't have those dedicated resources, it can become close to impossible to really launch a successful retail media network because you just don't have the underlying technical support or infrastructure that you need. So then I, I mean, you're, you're talking about internal partnerships, of course, um, but also external partnerships when you're for the retailers and the CPGs, what does a really strong retail media network partnership look like? What are the, what are the things that the ones that are getting it right, what are they doing that's setting them up for success? So retail media can really, it can really be a win, win, win for both the retailer, obviously also the brand, and then ultimately for the consumer. And so I think the retail media networks that are getting it the most right is it's this great partnership between um, customer experience and monetization. So there's a lot of retail media networks that have done that very, very well, where a customer can come to your site or they can come to your store and feel like that specific experience was designed for them. So they're getting relevant ads and offers on the app. Um, The store is a, you know, they'll see ads and promotions, but overall it's a pleasant experience. And I think that can be, that is perpetuated by a successful retail media network. I think there's a lot of cases where um, either, uh, where monetization can kind of overrun customer experience. I think there's, um, some retail media networks where everything is monetized. And so if you're on the app, it's like, well, how do I know that this is the right product for me? Or if it's just because somebody paid the most to be there. So I think that can be a detriment um, to trust even in that retailer as well. 